3D boxing here with uh, the victorious, undefeated uh, Guillermo Gutierrez after a sensational fourth round knockout. Uh, how would you rate your performance? What did you think of your performance? Um, I, think was, I think it was great. I mean, kind of surprised myself myself. So it was great overall. It was. Uh, we were hoping at ringside, I'm sitting next to Christy Martin, we we're both saying, can you stop the fight now? Can you stop the fight now? Were you surprised, A, on how tough your opponent was, and B, that they let the fight go on as long as they did? I think I was more surprised, A, he was a tough dude. I mean, you hit him with everything. You, you, you Early on in the first round, you came out aggressive. Second round, you sat back and you boxed him more. And then the third round, at the end of the third round, you hit him with a, a left hook, right hand combination. Right there, they should have stopped it. Did you want to show off all, all your different gears and, and all the different tools you have in the toolbox? Because that was really, really impressive. There wasn't one thing. Was that something you wanted to do? You wanted to show yeah. everything you could do? Yeah, a little bit of everything. So people were what I, I'm capable of. This, it came out tonight. It was really impressive. Everyone's saying that's that's the best fighter of the night that we've seen so far. It was a really good performance. 2-0. Oh, um, obviously, you're still real young. How did you know it was the right time to turn pro? I mean, you turned pro back was... A couple months ago, yeah, June. June. How did you know? Okay, now is the time to turn pro. Um, I, I want to do it professionally now. Um, I've just been boxing for a long time and had a good amateur career, so it was time to turn pro. That was the next step. You had a really deep amateur career. You go through your box rack. You look. You fought everyone yeah. uh, in, in the amateurs. A lot of top guys. Obviously, you got the amateur pedigree. You have the power, the speed. How would you describe your style in the ring, right? Because it really is multi-geared. Yes, sir. Um, that's a good question. I think say. I'm a little boxer and bra and counter puncher. A lot of good head movement and a little bit of everything. You did show a little bit. You, you, you switched out of the, the, the south yeah, one, the, the conventional stance. Bit. Is that something we can expect to see more of in the future? Uh, yes, I, I've been switching like my whole my whole life, so it's nothing so, in my That's in something you've always done? Yeah. Uh, like I said, two and zero. When can we expect to see you again next? And, and when do you want to be fighting, you know, higher level op opposition? Um, whenever my team feel like I'm ready. You're a 115 pounder. There's another kid from San Antonio, a world champion in the 115 pound division, Josh Franco. Look at him as someone to look up to. Okay, he's from San Antonio. He won a weight class, uh, a world title in this weight class. I can do that too. Yeah, anything possible. If he can do, I can do it. Did you see his fight against Maloney last month? Yeah. What did you think of it? Josh, Josh is real good. Josh is good, and Bam fights for a world title yeah. next month. Both, both good guys. I tell everyone where they can find you on social media. You can find me on Instagram at Gmo Cuddy. GMO C U I D I. Gamo Gutierrez, undefeated uh, super flyweight prospect. God bless, champ. Thank you. Appreciate it.